Hey folks, today is October the 4th. It's currently 6.54 in the afternoon. I'm just getting in from work. And this is my Talonex demo account. As you guys can see here, we have three trades currently open. And I'm pretty sure we closed a couple. All right, 10-4. 10-4. So these two have closed already. So we went from being up about uh, $450, I think it was. We're currently up about $881 in total, and we have three trades open. So we still have to uh, wait and see how these three trades play out. But let's take a look real quick at what's happened so far. GBP, Japanese Yen. All right, as you guys can see here, got filled, closed the gap nicely. And that was actually a pretty quick trade. All right, let's check out the Euro NZD. See where that is. Gap doesn't look that big. Okay, well, 26 pips, so that was pretty big. Got filled here. And as you can see, the market went up and uh, once again, closed the gap. And we'll take a look at the trades we currently have open right now. NZD USD. All right, so we had a 16 or 17 pip gap. Ended up getting filled right here. Currently up about 11 pips. We need the market to go down about 14 in order for it to take us out. So we're getting close, but not quite there yet. Next one is NZD Japanese Yen. All right, same thing. We had a nice size gap here, about 30 pips. Just waiting on the market to uh, come down and close the gap. And the last one is Euro Japanese Yen. All right, I'm on the wrong date here. Let me pull this back. There it is. All right, as you guys can see, wow. The market actually came right down to our uh, take profit, but did not go through it far enough. So it would have needed to come down to about uh, 134.396. And that would have taken us out. But we came extremely close. This, uh, If I was here watching this, I would have gone ahead and taken this trade out myself. But it didn't happen that way. All right, let's take a look at uh, FX Choice. I actually opened up quite a few more. Uh, charts as you can see here. Let me let you guys take a look at this. These are the charts I have on Talonex and this is FX Choice. So there are quite a, a few more here. Let's take a look at NZD USD. That one's getting pretty close. Here it is. Same thing here. Market's uh, getting very close to closing that gap. Then we have AUD USD. We can take a look at that really quick. And lastly, Euro USD. All right, so again, here the market came uh, pretty close to taking us out. But market didn't uh, come quite down far enough to fully close the gap here. So we'll continue watching it. And I think, uh, let's see here. Here it is, 10-5, 10-5. All right, so we had one winner so far and one loser. And this is on FX Choice. So we'll continue watching this and seeing if this uh, NZD USD pair can come down enough to get us taken out.
All right, be back with you guys momentarily. Looks like NZD USD is uh, making a nice push over here as well. Let me pull that up just for a second. All right, so we're very close now. All right, I'll pause it on this chart so that way we can uh, come back and take a look at it and see what happened. Be back momentarily. All right, guys, just a quick update here. NZD USD just made a nice push down here, and this is on FX Choice. I mean, we are literally, what's this, half a pip, not even that away from getting stopped out or taken out here. Up 240 on this trade. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Did that really just happen? Guys, we were literally right there. That's a bit frustrating. We'll see if we can get another push down and let the market take us out here. Over here, this is uh, Talon X. Market's still sputtering around the same levels. All we need is one more nice push down, and that'll uh, be enough to take us out here. All right, I'll pause it and be back with you guys momentarily. All right, guys, just a little quick update here. Over here on FX Choice, our uh, NZD USD trade just got taken out. Here it is. So that's two winners and uh, one loser right now. And we still have two trades open here. All right, very nice. Looks like we uh, got taken out over here as well. Let's take a look at it. NZD USD, we made 225, and we had uh, two other winners right here. Wow. So that's pushing down really nicely at the moment. All right, we'll continue watching our other trades. NZD Japanese Yen. Let's take a look at that one. All right, as you can see here, market has just about filled this gap. Close price was right here. Open was up here, 31 pip gap. And over here on FX Choice, we're uh, not necessarily close on either of these trades here. Let's check out Euro USD. All right, so we did come close at one point, but hasn't come back down yet. All right, I'll go ahead and pause it and we'll see what happens here. All right, guys, I just uh, got back, took a look at FX Choice, and it looks like we only have one trade open now. Let's make this a little larger. All right, so we currently have three trades in profit. One trade that was a uh, loser. And Euro USD is our last open trade here. So we'll see if we can get a nice push down here to close that one out. And over here on uh, Talon X, still waiting on this uh, NZD Japanese Yen pair to push down to our uh, take profit level. All right, we'll keep watching it and see what happens. I'll be back with you guys shortly. All right, guys, I wanted to do a quick update before I uh, pause it for the night here. It's about 10.03 in the afternoon. As you guys can see here, the market uh, turned around on us here. So we're going to just continue to let it run and see what it does overnight. But you will notice the market did come uh, pretty close to our take profit level. 
The problem is it wasn't able to uh, get far enough through it. So in the future, I'll continue to, I think, adjust them so that we don't get, you know, within a few pips of our take profit and then end up having it uh, turn around on us. Because obviously this would have been a nice winner here. We'll see if the market can uh, flip around, like I said, and we'll see what happens here. All right, NZD Japanese Yen. That's what we're currently on right now. Let's take a look at the Euro Japanese Yen. All right, very similar situation here. And as you can see, the market came down on multiple occasions, came right to our uh, take profit level, but it didn't go far enough through it. This actually uh, just about closed the gap here. So that's a bit disappointing. It looks like our last two trades could have been uh, pretty easy winners if I would have been around to make sure we didn't, you know, get turned around just based on a few pips here. So that's... Uh, a bit bothersome, like I said, but nothing that can be done about it now. And as you can see, the market did uh, a complete 180. And we're now about five pips away from getting stopped out on this one. So we'll just be patient and see what happens here. That would have been five winners, but we'll see what happens. And also on our FX choice, let me pull that up. We were closed out of all of our trades here on FX Choice. And let's see here. So we ended up with one, two, three winners and two losers today. And again, same thing. A lot of our trades uh, came close to being, to hitting our profit targets, but because I wasn't here to manage them, just wasn't able to uh, get it. And this one, this was a buy trade. This is the uh, Euro NZD. What was the stop on that one? Seven three six four seven. Because it looks like it closed the gap here. So we got entered here. One point seven three six four seven. All right. So this just barely took us out before uh, turning around and obviously shooting to the moon here. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, guys. So FX Choice hasn't been a. Uh, performing very well over the past couple weeks, but Talonex has actually been doing much better. So we'll continue watching it. And like I said, I'm going to pause it for the night. And I might go ahead and just uh, stop testing with FX Choice since Talonex is actually what the uh, vendor recommends and it's actually been doing pretty good overall lately. Currently up uh, $1,100 with Talonex. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, and hopefully the market will have turned around. And let me go ahead and mark this. So we'll know where everything was. All right. So uh, when I come back tomorrow, we'll be able to see either the market will have gone through this level. And just so we know exactly where we are we can come back to this point tomorrow morning all right guys i'll pause it right here and i'll be back all right good morning folks as you guys can see here it's now october the 5th 8 48 in the morning as you can see this is where we left off yesterday the market uh came up a couple times before coming up and uh hitting our stop here so Let's take a look at what actually happened here. All right, so those last two trades both ended up as losers, and we ended up making uh, a little over 100 bucks, I believe, because we're now at uh, $503.43 in profit now. And it looks like the market did eventually come down. It just took uh, quite a while. Okay, so never mind. It looks like that's our uh, stop price. Yep. All right, so as usual, if you guys have any questions on the uh, weekend gap trader, 
just uh, shoot me an email and let me know or contact me at empireambition.com and I'll uh, answer them to the best of my ability. All right, folks, take care.